<clears throat> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm having some issues. I did my whole face and my eyebrows and stuff so that I could just focus on these guys, not her. And my eye already started watering. So we're just going to ignore that and try to keep pushing through it. I know I look like a hot mess right now. Um, I'm on my floor, but I am trying to just film and get this stuff out. So today we're going to do a video on the new Jaclyn Vault. Two of the palettes. I wasn't interested in the other two, so I did not get them. So I'm just going to do thoughts on Armed and Gorgeous and Bling Boss. The Armed and Gorgeous seemed like the most popular one that everyone wanted. Like it sold out super quick at work. So I'm just going to be doing that today. So if you want to see how these perform and how they work, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to do one look on each eye. And um, I'm going to start off with the this eye that's already fucked up. And or I'm going to do this eye because I want to give this one a chance because everyone seemed to like it. So this is the Armed and Gorgeous palette, and you guys have already seen these all on her channel and all over Morphe's website. So I have a clean bunch of brushes right here, and we're just going to dive in. I zoom you in a little. Okay. There we go. Now I'm a little more centered. And I can slouch this way. So I'm going to take a... Morphe M441 and I think that obviously we're going to start with access first right here and I'm going to tap off any excess and I'm just going to blend that into the crease. This time I didn't tap anything off because I'm not getting a lot of um, pigment. So you guys can see it better than I can on the camera, but I mean I have a little bit of color payoff. So I'm just gonna go in some more. And I'm blending very lightly. Um, if you watch Th Thomas Halpert's review, um, this is a lot more orange than yellow now. I guess it was more yellow the first time. So that's weird. But um, I kind of wish it was more brighter. Like not as an orangey tangerine. Um, so I'm getting color payoff. It's looking good, it's blending super easy. So I don't have any problems yet. I wanna go in to Top Secret, which is the green that everyone seemed to have troubles with as well. Fallout. Like there's not a lot of, sorry about the glare. I got a comment about that in my last video. There's not a lot of fallout. So we're gonna see how it blends. Okay. And I'm blending really lightly. Okay, so there's fallout on my face. It's all right there. If you can see it, I hope you can. But there's like dots right here. So, um, it doesn't look bad on camera. It's kind of patchy. But I didn't have like the best primed eyes when I started this, so. I'm gonna try to blend it out. I 
I think I'm gonna try to put more of the green. I'm gonna try to pack it on. Just to kind of get rid of the patchiness and then I'll lightly blend. Oh, sorry. I mean, it looks really muddy. Um, it wasn't like the green that I was like excited for in this palette. Maybe the dark magic one would have been better. Um, but I am gonna try to finish it. So I think I'm gonna go in with another brush and try to put um, this prowl, this brown shade over. This one's like really pigmented. I guess the green is just like really hard to do. I've never had a green shadow like that. So I don't know how they're supposed to look. But now this eye look, it's a lot of fallout on my face. Like a lot. Hmm. I'm so glad I'm washing this off after. There's a lot of fallout. This is not as good as I wanted it to be. I'm gonna try to go in with some oranges, the secure, to try to like You see how it like disappeared right there? You can see the patchiness. Okay, um, I'm gonna put coin all over the lid and just like call it a day with this side. Maybe if I don't use the green color, it's just like everyone wanted to use that color, you know what I mean? Hmm. I don't know guys. I mean, it doesn't look that bad. I could be dramatic, but... <laughs> I think that's as far as I'm gonna go. There's a lot of fallout on my face. And I don't usually have that problem with like her Jaclyn Hill palette. I don't really, I never had fallout on my face. Okay. So now we're gonna try the Bling Boss palette, which I'm really excited about because um, I hated the Norvita palette. When I got the Norvita palette, I immediately waited for these to come out and then exchanged it for these. So I'm gonna take a clean brush, the R37, and I'm gonna take Hush Hush, whoops, which is this one right here. And that's gonna be our transition. Oh, I really like this. Okay. This is like the perfect tone transition. I'm really liking this color. And it's blending out really easily. It's like a light wash, like perfect transition. Okay. And then now I'm going to take a Morphe 505. And I think I'm going to go in with Rockstar, which is this one right here. It's like a purpley pink. <laughs> really pigmented. Tap that off. And... I don't know if it's my eyes or what. Why 
it's like really patchy. I literally don't have this problem usually. I don't know. I prime my eyes with Tarte Shape Tape. What is happening? I mean, it's not bad. It kind of feels like dry. I don't know if it's the whatever I prime my eyes with. I use shave tape and the F Maybelline Fit Me powder. I don't know if you guys can like. Now you're up close and personal, but there's like patchiness all right here. And it's really bubbing me out because that's what the Norvina palette was doing. And it feels like, it doesn't feel like buttery. It feels kind of dry. I'm like really afraid of this, that like she was going to pull them and then like redo them and then bring them back and they were going to be like this. <laughs> I want to put this purple. This is Jim. This purple. Oh. What is happening? Please. <laughs> what is happening? Oh my god. Why is this so hard? Like, look at how it looks on your finger and then. There's like nothing. Oh, please don't tell me I'm gonna have to return these. I am like pressing on my eye. Okay. I think that this just goes to show that you really like, you can't get so hyped up over these products anymore. Like, you, you... You can't. Like, this... I never... Like, the Morphe, the Plum Palette... I have a video of that on my YouTube channel. It was, like, a five-minute tutorial. And it did not do all this nonsense. Like, that was so hard to get this... On my eyeball. So my final verdict is that I'm like bummed. I'm super upset because I really wanted these to work. The Norvina palette didn't work for me either and I really wanted this to work. I'm not gonna give up right now just off these two. I really do want to try harder to make these work. I'm just a little confused so anyways that's it for my video that was like super quick and I'm sorry but I just I'm not in the mood to keep trying or wiping this off and doing it again um, this is just like off the first try like opening these palettes and actually using these palettes so take it for what it is um, if it works for you I'm very happy for you I'm gonna try again and see how it goes so yeah thank you guys so much for watching please like and subscribe follow me on all social medias and i'll see you in my next one bye